A 49er consumes, among other things, two and a half pounds of meat a day, one and a half quarts of milk, two potatoes, a pint of ice cream, and half a loaf of bread, over 6,000 calories. I'd say 75, 80% of the players did smoke. Art Donovan used to bring hot dogs with him from home to the locker room the day of a game, have them in his locker. He's sitting there eating five, six, seven, so Artie fell in love with eating hot dogs. As the NFL celebrates its centennial anniversary, players' personal habits and nutrition, along with many other aspects, have changed dramatically. You think you can give me some hot dogs at halftime? Yeah. Two of them. My pregame meal was two of these, um, a cherry Coke, and a Kit Kat. Did you hear that, Tony? Mm -hmm. two, two hot dogs. Oh, OK. I'm serious. Put them in my bag. I was so happy that I could eat these before the game. That gave me the energy to go out and play. I mean, back in the day, I heard all say it was hot dogs and hamburgers and, you know, sandwiches on white bread and potato chips, uh, throwing a little bit of ice cream. And that's what they kind of just survived off of. Um, <laughs> that would be rough, I would say, in today's uh, world with the athletes. Meet Ted Harper, who is in his eighth season as a licensed sports nutritionist with the Patriots. His road to New England was unconventional. I didn't enjoy, you know, what I was doing. So called my guidance counselor, spur of the moment. My guidance counselor just told me, hey, there's uh, exercise physiology, um, and I highly recommend you double up and, uh, you know, combine it with dietetics, which I didn't know what that meant. You know, the counselor told me it was a study of diet and nutrition and metabolism. I said, sounds kind of interesting, you know. Uh, so I was all in, you know, joined uh, that major, my double major, uh, sophomore year and just fell in love instantaneously. So then coming out and graduating, you know, coming out with a master's degree, coming out with uh, my credential, my license, my specialty, I'm coming out loaded, you know. And I applied to a lot of places. Uh, I applied to four off the bat. All four of them told me no. So, you know, you learn to get knocked down, but pick yourself back up. Armed with multiple degrees from Purdue University and the University of Utah, Ted joined Special Operation Command for the United States Army. I was training very, very elite and fit soldiers uh, with that unit, which I loved. And, you know, here I'm thinking, you know, college was my dream job. And then I'm with the military. This is definitely my dream job. I love this. And, uh, you know, the Patriots end up finding me, and I interview and take the position, and now I'm in my dream job. So what is Harper's job with the Patriots? To plan what goes into players' bodies to maximize performance. Here at Gillette Stadium, he has a talented culinary staff to make his dietary vision come to life. So this is our team field kitchen. This is where all of our food largely comes out of. Everything is exclusive to this room, so this is our in-house crew that I'm very fortunate to have. Bison stew. Bison This is delicious. This plate is for Mr. Matthew Slater. That was one tasty plate. Athletes today are bigger, faster, stronger for a reason, and I think nutrition is a piece of that for sure. Um, they just have so many more resources uh, to help themselves perform, help themselves recover, help themselves stay healthy, um, and I think they take full advantage of it. So how many squares per day are provided for the players at Gillette Stadium? Whether we're in, uh, you know, off season is three meals a day for the team, uh, training camp is four to five a day, and then in season is always, it's usually four. So in season, breakfast, pre-practice, uh, meal, post-practice, lunch, dinner. And so now as we go to uh, Executive Chef Josh. So we go through 160 pounds of seafood every week. About how many pounds of vegetables do we go through? Broccoli? Uh, broccoli, we go through 145 pounds a week. And then poultry, we go through about? We go through 475 pounds of poultry every week. And I believe the beef is 172? 172 pounds of red meat. So we're going through quite a bit every week. 
and all of our fish we try to make as, as locally and fresh caught as possible. We do try to, you know, talk to the farmers, talk to people who are sourcing the fish, catching the fish. All of our chicken is organic free range, uh, cage free, hormone free, antibiotic free. All of our beef is in bison, grass fed and organic. All of our vegetables are organic. So again, we're trying to provide the best food possible for the players as we're helping them fuel, as we're helping them recover. We put out a great product, and I would say the team definitely takes full advantage of that as well. I will take you for the full day, no matter who you are. Uh, staff, player, coach, doesn't matter. Some fresh caught shrimp. Two days ago, I think I had the, the shrimp and grits, and that was, that was definitely probably my favorite I've had since I've been here. We have food basically 24-7, and even when we don't, we can find you some. Uh, so whether you know we're making you you know plated meals from our facilities in here, or if we're making you a special plate from the kitchen that's just tailored to you. So today I'm making a pasta dish with seitan meatballs. And they have um, ground seitan and pecans, and then some fresh herbs. Or we have to work through some medical needs, or whatever it may be. We're going to help you get to a you know point A to point B and uh, get you right. And then there's the shakes. For recovery, we're gonna need carbs, protein, some antioxidants. And you always gotta throw in some spinach. Easy way for guys to get some vegetables. A little bit extra protein, some probiotics. And we just finish it off with a little liquid here. And that's your four components to recovery. Carbs, protein, antioxidants, and fluids. There's not a lot of time between when practice ends and when meetings start. So this is just a very quick way, again, for them to recover, get calories, take their shakes to their lockers, get cleaned up, whether they got to go do treatment, go finish their lift, come back in here, grab a meal. It's just a very quick way for them to just speed up recovery, but at the same time, finish out what they have to do for the rest of the day. They want to eat as clean as possible because their bodies are their livelihood. And so they know that in order to take care of themselves, they need to eat well. And we provide that for them. When can I have something? How much can I have? What time should I have it? You know, at what portion? Everybody asks those same questions. Ted installs good habits and uh, eating clean. And, you know, he does a great job. And I'm just happy to be able to work with him. You got to also treat yourself right, too. You can't just all be clean all the time. You got to enjoy Food. And I think he's done a really good job of just talking about it all the time and getting everybody to buy into that. Uh, training camp days are long, and when uh, you have very, very long days, you need a morale boost. And the morale boost comes from the cookies and the popcorn and the pretzels and the candy. Uh, we just, or I just control when it's put out. It's not an all day thing. So, this is our uh, homemade sweet potato quinoa chili. Let's we'll see how big of a kick this thing has. Very good. Thank you. Very spicy. Well, Excellent. That's what they like. Mm -hmm. We're also very fortunate that uh, you know we have great ownership who invests in the team and invests in the budget for this quality of food for the team, and a great head coach who is uh, very nutrition first. Uh, he invests a lot in nutrition. He pushes the message hard, which helps me push my message. I love what I do, and I love helping others. I mean, that's that's a great feeling for me you know when I'm able to plan something out help a player out see the results when I don't hear my name yeah very similar to the military it's a good day